Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. If you just so happen to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. Okay, so just jumping right into it, today I'm gonna be talking about how to clean your houseplant leaves. And if you've watched my videos in the past, I've kind of touched on this here and there, but I've never really explained my ideal perfect way of cleaning leaves and I finally have all of the ingredients like a good little YouTuber and I'm super excited to finally have an official video that I can point everyone towards when they ask me about cleaning their leaves. My solution is going to be a pest prevention solution but also one that will get all of the hard mineral stains and grime off of your leaves and I'm actually going to be discussing how to emulsify neem oil into your solution because oil and water do not mix together so you want to make sure that if you are using neem oil in your solution you want to absolutely make sure it's completely combined so in a perfect world I use the solution that I'm gonna tell you guys about twice a month I also apologize if you hear some water in the back but I have a leak until I blow up to becoming a famous YouTuber, that is my reality. Basically, the reason you should clean your leaves is because not only does it look a lot nicer, but your plants will be able to soak up more sun and shoot out more growth. And then also with the specific solution that I make, it will be a bit of a pest preventative. So you can worry a little bit less about like a spider mite outbreak, which happened to me when I did not clean my leaves. <laughs> so if you're new to plants you might be tempted to just go ahead and spray your leaves with some water maybe in a spray bottle and just clean them that way and while that might be effective in cleaning off some dust and dirt because it's just water you will probably still be left with mineral stains and pests so I would not recommend using just water to clean your leaves. Another really common way to clean your leaves that I don't really have anything bad to say about it's just mixing lemon juice with water and the acidity in that mixture will help clean off the hard mineral stains from your leaves and kind of anything a little bit harder than just your regular dirt and dust. So if you're looking for just a quick clean that's also a great solution but it is not a pest preventative. So the solution that I'm finally going to share with you guys is kind of the best of both worlds. You get shiny leaves and you keep the bugs away. Ingredients, what are you going to need to make this life-changing leaf polish? Oh, also I should mention that regular leaf polishers or whatever, leaf shines, are not great for your plants because they tend to block the stomata and your plants can't really transpire normally. So it's a little bit better to go a more natural route, which is why I do this instead of buying a leaf shine. Anyway, Okay, okay, so ingredients, distilled water is the number one ingredient. Why distilled? You can use kind of a variety of different water. The only thing I'm not gonna recommend is just using regular old tap water because you are basically just reintroducing those hard minerals that you're trying to probably get rid of. So I use distilled water, but things like rainwater, reverse osmosis water, whatever fancy water you wanna use, go for it. The next ingredient is going to be neem oil, and I love neem oil because it is a great pest preventative and it's not great at nipping an infestation but it is perfect for keeping pests at bay right off the bat and it will also not clog your plant's pores so that's great your plant can sweat freely the only thing is that of course since it's an oil it will need to be emulsified into the mixture which brings us to our next ingredient dish soap so in a perfect world i would have dr Braun peppermint soap but I am just using regular old dish soap in this solution. Dr. Bronner's tends to be the preferred soap for these kinds of solutions because it already has that peppermint oil mixed into it. It's just one less ingredient to worry about but you can also just use regular old dish soap 
like I am in this video. This soap will not only help clean your leaves, but it is also key to emulsifying the neem oil into your mixture. The only thing that I'm gonna mention is my mixture looks absolutely filthy because neem oil is yellow and my dish soap is dyed blue. So when I mix the two, I got a kind of gross looking mixture so if you're looking for something a little bit more aesthetic go with a clear soap and for the soap if you're not using dr bronner's try to get a soap that is as concentrated as possible with no like hand softening extra fluff stuff because those are all extra things that might clog your plant's pores and we hate clogged pores okay and the last ingredient is going to be an essential oil if you are not using dr Bronner soap or you just want to add a little extra spice to your mix essential oils are the way to go and it's a bonus because it will not only mask the unpleasant scent of neem oil but certain essential oils are also great pest preventatives peppermint oil tea tree oil and eucalyptus I believe are all popular picks that do the job I think lavender is also included in there but I'm not 100% positive I think I use peppermint in my mix okay so you have your ingredients now what do you do with them I personally made a whole gallon batch of my mixture because I plan on using a lot of it and it's gonna be really easy for me to refill my spray bottle the only thing that I'm not including in this gallon batch is the essential oil because you don't want to store essential oil in a clear and plastic container just because it will probably kind of wear away at the plastic and it's not good for essential oils to be exposed to direct light okay but anyway take your gallon distilled water and just empty it out a little bit I poured mine into a watering can to use to water my plants and then just set aside that gallon jug in a separate container I used an empty kombucha bottle I just mixed a tablespoon spoon of neem oil and a tablespoon of dish soap and just put it right in the bottle and then I filled up the bottle maybe a quarter of the way with warm water and warm is key because you were trying to break down that oil a little bit and mix it with the soap once you have that solution in the bottle go ahead and cap it and shake it like crazy because like I said you're trying to get it all to marry together in one container once your solution is blended and if you are using Using dish soap like I said it will be a soapy mixture and if you're using blue soap it will also be an ugly mixture but once you have said mixture go ahead and add it to the gallon jug then you just shake your gallon jug give it a good old shake and pour some of that solution into your spray bottle I use a glass tinted spray bottle because it will store the essential oil correctly as I mentioned so once you have that mixed up solution in your spray bottle I added a couple drops of peppermint essential oil and all of these products that I'm mentioning I will try to link down below the best that I can I don't think I'll be able to link the essential oil there are definitely tears to quality essential oil I'm just using what I had so please don't yell at me I'm sure my massage therapist mom is yelling at me for my essential oil choice but just do the best that you can and then basically once you have your little mixture go ahead and take a plant you need to clean I am demoing a plant that I just recently brought home from a nursery whenever you bring a plant home from a nursery or a plant shop you definitely want to give it a good scrub down because it will probably be dirty from the nursery and just being outside and in the greenhouse and you also want to make sure that you catch any bugs before introducing it to the rest of your collection so this mix is perfect for cleaning new plants so yeah just give your plant a heavy spray down with this mixture and go in with a microfiber cloth or a very soft rag preferably and wipe down the foliage the best that you can the tops of the leaves and the bottoms of the leaves and then you're set just let it dry out you can give it a little extra spray when you're done wiping it down just to have that neem oil actually sit on the leaves and you're good to go your leaves are clean your plants are happy and your collection is looking nice so I am so happy I was finally able to share my ideal 
little leaf cleaning solution. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you have any questions or you have some life-changing secret family leaf cleaning recipe, please drop it down below. I am super curious to hear what you guys have to say and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.